Hello and welcome to the session on binomial theorem. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. As you can see, I have written down the binomial theorem here. a plus b to the power n and this is the expansion. The r plus 1n term of a binomial theorem is given by ncr a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r. Let's look at this in a little more de detail. For that, let's take an example. Suppose I have three chocolates and I have to divide them between A and B. It's possible that A gets 3 and B gets 0, A gets 2, 1, A gets 1, B gets 2, or A gets 0 and B gets 3. That is exactly the case with our binomial theorem as well. Suppose these are n chocolates which are to be distributed to A and B. It is possible that A gets n, B gets 0, A gets n minus 1, B gets 1. A gets 0 or B gets N. Total number of cases as you can see here are 1, 2, 3, 4 and in this case it would be N plus 1. Those are my N plus 1 terms. There are other issues to look at as well. Say for example if it is 3 chocolates and it's all 3 of them are going to A that is possible one way but if 2 chocolates are going to A then you need to make another decision that which two chocolates are going to A. So that you can decide in 3C two ways. From the three chocolates, I'll select the two chocolates to give to A. Third one automatically goes to B. This one will be 3C1. I can decide the one chocolate to give to A. I can select that from three in 3C1 ways. The other two automatically go to B. And this one will be 3C0 or simply one because I'm giving all chocolates to B. Let us look at, look back here. I am deciding one chocolate to give to B, but which one? I decide that in NC1 ways. I am deciding two chocolates to give to B, which two? I am deciding that in NC2 ways. I am deciding all N chocolates to be given to B, that will be decided in NCN ways. A random term, which was the R plus 1 net term, I am deciding to give R chocolates to B. That means which R that is decided by N C R. Suppose, so what will be the total value here? 1 plus 3C2 plus 3C1 plus 3C0 that will come out as 8 if you calculate it. Another way of getting it would be, I have 3 chocolates. First chocolate, it can go to either A or to B. So that is 2 choices. Second chocolate can also go to A or B. So that is 2 choices. Third chocolate can also go to A or B, that is two choices, which is A. Another way of looking at it would be 3C3 plus 3C2 plus 3C1 plus 3C0. If I calculate it, 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, that will also come out as A. Another method of looking at it would be, if I look at the formula and I put A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1, do you realize what will emerge? If I, on the right hand side, I will have nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 till ncn and that will effectively be 1 plus 1 to the power of n or 2 to the power of n. There are a couple of other things that you should know which you can obtain by putting values in the formula that is nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 till ncn will be 0. This can be obtained by putting A as plus 1 and B as minus 1. If I am selecting just the even number of terms, that is NC0 plus NC2 plus NC4, that will be equal to, if I am selecting just the odd number of terms, NC1 plus NC3 plus NC5 and so on. Both of them will be equal to 2 to the power of N minus 1. That wraps up the session on binomial theorem. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.